bono. Today we would like to share with you about volunteerism and why is it so important to the community. One thing we realize is that even though volunteer work makes us feel good about ourselves, the help we give is way more important. How we got started was thanks to our dad. He works for UPS and the company does a lot of community service, not just in Singapore, but also all around the world. Every year, the month of October is called Global Volunteer Month. Volunteer activities usually run all year round, but October is the time when the most volunteers' hours are given. Now, Daniel is going to share with us his first volunteer experience. My first volunteer experience was to the, for the Handicap Welfare Association. I was only four years old then. Uh, there was this lady with an automated wheelchair, and I was sitting on her lap for about half an hour riding around the center. I don't remember much, and I certainly don't think I did much, but according to my parents, the lady and I had a great time. She was just really happy to have a cute kid to sit on her lap. During the past few months, we had the opportunity to attend two activities. One was a charity futsal match, where we played against the people from the Cerebral Palsy Foundation. Now these guys were in their early 20s and just came back from Europe playing in a national match. Our team was made up of drivers and fellow UPS people, and we thought we had a chance against them, yet they ended up kicking our butts. I don't, I don't think we won a single match. The only time we scored a goal was when one of their players joined our team. <laughs> Another volunteer event was to the Young Women's Christian Association, YWCA. When we first arrived at YWCA, they were cooking in their kitchen for an event that they were holding for the residents that day. Our job was to deliver dry goods and uh, deliver them to the residents all over Singapore. We delivered to about 15 houses that day. Uh, we have done this many times now and we have developed our own routine. This is how it goes. We ar call them to arrange and make sure that they are at home. Some know how to speak English and some don't. So if they only know how to speak Mandarin, I have to put all those Chinese, uh, hours of Chinese tuition to good use. Ring, 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 ring. Wei, is this Mr. Lee? Ni kai jiang hua yu ma? Wo yao qu ni de jia gei, wo shi dan ni er, wo yao qu ni de jia gei ni chi de dong xi chi. Ni zai jia li ma? Zai. Uh, 谢谢。我们再去吃分钟后，可以，可以。So, <laughs> so we will then go to the houses, and we end up meeting all sorts of people. I remember this one house. It was a very, very hot day. This lady was sleeping on a cardboard on the floor near the door. Hello. We thought she was home alone, but when we woke her up, she went to the bedroom to get her mother. Then I realized the reason she was sleeping there was because it would be the coolest place in the house. She didn't have any fans or air cons. This made me realize how fortunate I am and I should not take these things for granted. One of our favorite experiences was this lady who had a very young child. She was expecting diapers in her delivery. We did not know this. So after we dropped off her bag, she called us saying and asking for her diapers. Since we were quite far from the pickup point, we told her, we went to the nearby NTUC and purchased the diapers ourselves. We went back a second time and gave her the diapers and a few Kinder Joy for her children. Five minutes later, she called us again saying that the diapers were the wrong size. We had other deliveries to do that day, so we asked her to go to the nearby NTUC and exchange it herself. She did and everything was fine. Now whenever we go to the YWCA, we make sure she has the right size diapers in her bag. We want to help residents in any way we can, but we also have to help the residents help themselves. That way they don't have to rely on the help of others all the time. We have now been delivering to the same residents once a month for over a year. Most residents already recognize us when we call them or see them in person. Usually they are always happy to see us. It feels good to know that we have connection with these people. But sometimes, some residents may not be too happy. For example, our first delivery happened fairly early at 8.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning. The family we normally stop at is still sleeping at the time and, may not, and sometimes it may take them a while to answer the door. When they do finally answer the door, it feels like we are inconveniencing them for interrupting their sleep. 
In these cases, we have to tell ourselves that every family is different. No matter what, we will continue to improve our community and that no family should be left behind. What I've learned through this experience is that I should not take what I have for granted. Not everyone gets to have the same opportunities that I do. I think that everyone can volunteer their time to give back their community. Maybe not everyone can spare a few hours to a month because of their busy schedules, but you can do little things on a daily basis to help. Think about the next time you're on an MRT and an elderly person gets on. Offer your seat to them, offering assistance to someone with heavy bags. Anytime you can put a smile on someone who is less fortunate than you, it's not only a chance for them to feel happy, but also a chance for you to feel good about your place in this world. Put it simply, we like helping people, whether it's delivering food, playing in a charity futsal match, or cooking at a barbecue for a charity event. It's the chance to meet and help all kinds of people that is mostly important. It is not right for me to, tell, to force you to do volunteer work if you don't want to. But I will tell you this, that when you get the chance to meet some pretty amazing people and see the direction because of all the help and time you've given, that's all the reasons you need. We would like to share a Chinese proverb to you. Ruguanisiangia it's the little things we do every day that makes a difference. Thank you.